Вовкина сгорела полностью и рядом. Иди. Балкона аптека и детский как развивающая студия. Здесь и вот, посмотри, по вот, вот, вот она, пятиэтажка впереди меня, везде окна выбиты. Столб вообще. Вот, вот, просто посмотри. Сейчас, 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 короче. Да подожди, сейчас фокус будет. Смотри просто. Это весь дом. Это просто соседний дом. Это просто охуеть. Прилег. Ребят, это прилет. И вот сюда крыша тоже прилетела в дом. В техэтаж. В техэтаж, слава богу, хоть не в квартиры. Прямо по жилому комплексу попадания есть. Харьгара. Не знаю, ну, там где-то подальше. Может дубовое. Что-то еще. Так, раз, два, три. During the last 24 hours, the Russian army took control of six settlements of Ukraine. This was reported by the Ministry of Defense of Russia. The North group of the Russian armed forces has taken control of Borisovka, Ogurtsovo, Pletanevka, Pilnaya and Streliakia of Kharkiv region, as well as Karamik settlement of Donetsk region of Ukraine. It was reported that within 24 hours, the Russian army struck the weapons depot of the armed forces of Ukraine, the factory where unmanned aerial vehicles are produced, and the Patriot Air Defense System Division. Massive strikes were carried out to a depth of 70 kilometers, and Ukrainian armed forces facilities in the depths of the defense were hit. Both infrastructure facilities, weapons and equipment were destroyed. We worked very actively drones, Lancet. Two bridges were destroyed, in the area of Steri Saltov and near the Volchansky farms. More than 40 people from the border guards, the armed forces of Ukraine and the defense forces were taken prisoner. As Rybar writes, despite the successes of the first day, the assault groups of the Russian armed forces have only just approached the first line of defense of the armed forces of Ukraine, built in the Kharkiv region. The operation has just begun, there are fierce battles ahead, and they may drag on for a long time, given the defense built by the Ukrainians. Russian troops and aviation will be first to know about appearance of F-16s in Ukraine, expert. The first to know about the appearance of F-16 fighters in the skies of Ukraine will be Russian military facilities and aviation. This opinion was expressed by Bogdan Dolintz, a Ukrainian expert on aviation market development. On the Freedom TV channel, he noted that the political decision to transfer these aircraft to Ukraine has already been made. Now everything depends on completing infrastructure processes and coordinating the supply of ammunition. Firstly, the decision to transfer the aircraft has already been made, so it's only a matter of time. Secondly, we are seeing the completion of all infrastructure processes, which means the necessary resources, forces, training and knowledge are already ready or are in the final stages of formation, the expert explained. At the same time, he emphasized that in addition to aircraft, it is also necessary to ensure the supply of ammunition for them. Most likely, negotiations regarding the shells are still underway, Dolintz says. The effectiveness of using the F-16 directly depends on what plans the Ukrainian military leadership sets for itself 
for these aircraft and whether Western partners will be able to provide the necessary amount of ammunition to fully accomplish the assigned tasks. He continued, as for when the F-16s will appear in Ukrainian arsenal, different dates have been given, starting from the summer of 2024. According to the expert, most likely their transfer will not be too obvious. First of all, because it is necessary to maintain the fog of war. On the other hand, the first to learn about the appearance of the F-16 in Ukraine will be Russian aviation and Russian military targets, which in the first weeks will feel all the power and all those capabilities which appeared in the Ukrainian military aviation, Dolintz stated.